What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto. Now I got some exciting news for you guys. We're gonna be releasing a product shop tutorial and I'm gonna break this up into three videos just because it's gonna be pretty extensive and I'm gonna be going over a lot of things. So that's why we're gonna have to do it that way. Um, this is the first part to that video. I might make this into a complete um, series where I create an entire t-shirt shop. So let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to do that. So this is a product page that we're gonna be building here. This is all completely custom. We did end up adding some custom code and I'll be going over that in this video. So as you can tell, we have some um, product swatches here where we're able to just select um, the color and the size. And then people can go ahead and add the quantity that they want. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna show you actually how to add this quantity selector here and it's really cool we're going to add some custom php to be able to add this in we can also do this with a plugin which i'm going to show you as well just in case you don't want to add that custom php because personally i don't like using plugins too often but that's just me so we can go ahead and add this to our cart obviously we don't have a header set up yet and all that sort of stuff um, but we might end up doing that and just make that into a complete series. Depending if you guys really love um, this tutorial, we'll probably just continue on and create an entire um, website for it. So as you can tell, people can share. And then the other cool part is we do have these um, custom tabs, which are really cool. Um, we actually do this with some custom CSS, which I'm gonna be able to show you in this video. And that's why I'm kind of splitting it into three parts. So probably the last part is gonna be going over um, adding these uh, custom tabs here. And then we'll just add our related products. I don't really have this added here yet. Um, I will have that added in the tutorial, so don't worry about that. Let me go ahead and hop into the Adobe XD design here and show you guys that. So here's Adobe XD design. Now, it didn't really take me too long and it came out really great, so I thought I would honestly share this as well. I'll probably have a download to this template on my Patreon and as well as um, the Elementor um, template as well for the product page. It's gonna be all on my Patreon, so if you guys wanna download it instead, um, you guys can go ahead and grab it from there. Now, I hope you guys end up enjoying this video. If you guys do, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and it can help them out. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of my videos that I'm gonna come out with, especially the two parts to this video, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on those. Now, I hope you guys enjoy. So let's begin. So I have a fresh WordPress install here. As you can tell, I'm using the Hello theme. Let me head over to my dashboard. Now I'm only using about three plugins, I believe, but we might install one more. So I just have Elementor, Elementor Pro and WooCommerce. And then we're gonna go ahead and install some swatches just for our uh, product, because we're gonna have uh, variables. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add New. And we're gonna go ahead and just type in product swatches. And let's go ahead and use this one here. This one is made by Villa Theme. And then I'm gonna activate it. This is a really simple one, that's why I like to use this one here. That there is an update on WooCommerce. I'm currently on a local host, so uh, everything should be fine here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and go into um, templates and then theme builder. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, we're gonna have to add our product. So head over to your products. And we're gonna go ahead and just create our new product here. I really hate it when it does this. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and call this design one. Put a dash there and then let's put t-shirt. And then let's just go ahead and we're gonna need to create some variables. So go into product data and click on variable product. And then go into attributes. And we're gonna go ahead and add our attributes. So click on add. And I know that they recently switched this. This used to look a little bit different, um, but it's pretty much the same concept. So we're gonna do 
I think the first one should be um, size. Or let's do color first, actually. Do color. And we're going to have black. For the first one. That's just the color of the t-shirt. So I do have two t-shirt colors. I have black and white. And then we're going to click clone. And we're going to go ahead and add white. And let's go ahead and save attribute. All right, now we have our color. And as you can tell, here we have black and white. And then we're going to go ahead and add another one. And we're going to do size. And then let's go ahead and do, let's just go and do the standard. Um, as for small, oops, yeah, S. And then we're going to click clone. We're going to do medium, clone, large. And then we'll just do XL for extra large. There we go. And click save attributes. And now we have color and size. So now let's go into variations. And you know what we forgot to do actually very important is make sure you click on used for variations. And then do the same thing for this one as well. And then click save attributes. And then let's go into variations. Instead of add variation, go into uh, create variation from all attributes. And that's just, just going to create everything according to all of our attributes that we added here. It's going to automatically create them. So go ahead and click on go. Click OK. And it says that we have eight variations added, as you can tell. And it all organizes them from the smallest to the largest. And it starts off from black to white, which is perfect. And then we're just going to go, all we need to do into individual ones is just add an image and then just a price. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on this little image box. And I already have my images uploaded. So this one is black. So let's start off with the black. And we're going to start off with a price of um, 15. And this is set to USD. And of course, if you need to add SKUs and all this other stuff, you can. I'm not going to. It's not really necessary for me. And then we're going to go ahead and grab the, the black t-shirt again. And this is medium. We're still going to leave it at 15. Uh, we can adjust the prices. And then for um, large, let's go ahead and add black. And let's just bump up the price a little bit. Maybe just make it a $1 higher. So let's do 16. And then for extra large, maybe we'll do 17 for extra large. There we go. And then now we just need to repeat the same process, except we're going to be using the white t-shirt. And let's go ahead and do 15. And select the white t-shirt again. 15 for medium. And this one's going to be 16. Let's choose this one here. And let's do 17. Okay. So now I just need want to add a product short description and a main description. So we could actually just min minimize all of these if we need to. Then we don't have to scroll all the way down just to get to the bottom here. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and grab some warm Epsom tax here. Maybe want to make this a little bit larger, I can. So I can add a little more. And for our product description or short description here, we can make this a little bit shorter. Maybe we can go up to here. That's good. All right, and then let's add a product image. Um, let's go ahead and add this black t-shirt here. And then go ahead and click on publish and of course if you have any more product galleries you can but it's not really necessary when you're doing t-shirts because whenever they select the t-shirt it's going to go for that color anyway 
that's not really that necessary. So the last thing I want to do here is go into our categories. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and change the name of this um, uncategorized. And I'm going to call this um, t-shirts because that is what we're going to be selling here. So So this is just categorizing all the t-shirts. Now I could call this products depending on, on what, what I'm selling on my website, but if it's just something general, then you could add products, but um, this one's just gonna be t-shirts because I'm most likely only gonna be selling t-shirts. But if you were gonna be selling some other stuff, then you can go ahead and just add products. All right. So now let's go into um, templates and then theme builder. Go ahead and click on add new and go ahead and select single product. And we can either call this t-shirt product page or we can just be really basic and just call it product page. This is usually what I call it. And then go ahead and click on create template. All right. Now go ahead and click on your settings. And then we wanna go ahead and switch this to page layout. Make sure this is set to canvas because currently don't have a header, but I might turn this website into a complete um, t-shirt brand. So we'll see, we'll see what we end up doing with this um, website here. Go ahead and click publish. Uh, should refresh actually, Elementor canvas, but um, Let's go ahead and add that to all the products. It's fine just to get this to save here. Let's go, just go ahead and refresh this. There we go. All right. And of course we want to preview our product. So there we go. We have our design one t-shirt. Now, of course you can go ahead and just choose any t-shirt that you may want. And all you have to do is just search for it. So as you can tell, we could have chose that one, but it's already selected, so it's perfect. So now we're going to go ahead and start adding um, our elements. So the first thing that we need to do here is add a section with two columns. Perfect. Go ahead and click on our section. Now it is already selected. Go into advance. And from here, we're gonna want to add some padding. So go ahead and click to unselect it. And let's do about 50 from the top and 50 from the bottom. So we'll go ahead and adjust that more later on. So that's fine for now. And then go ahead and click on your elements. And let's go ahead and grab our product image. Product images, so drag that right in here. There we go, we have our t-shirt. So I wanna go ahead and add a background to my product image here. So go ahead and click on your uh, product image element. Go into advance and click on background and click on this little icon there and then go ahead and choose the color. We're gonna go ahead and just paste this one in here. I'll go ahead and zoom in here so you guys can see it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just save this one. And I'm gonna call this background color. All right, now we have that saved, so that's perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and just add some data. So go back to our elements. And we wanna add some breadcrumbs up. And we'll go ahead and adjust that here in a bit. You know what, before we go and start adding all of our elements and everything, we wanna go ahead and set our font. That's always super important before we even start touching up all of this, just so then we don't have to go ahead and set it into every single one individually and it's just set automatically, it just saves us some time. So go into your, um, go ahead and click on this top button here in the left corner and then go ahead and click on um, site settings. And we're gonna go into um, global fonts. And primary, we're gonna go ahead and change that to Lato. Lato. I'm gonna be using this font for the website. And the weight, we'll leave it as is for now. That's fine. And we probably want most of this to be at least capitalized. And let's go and do Lado again. And we'll, and let's have this one capitalized. 
tax, we'll leave it as is. Uh, we, we won't probably capitalize that one, but we're still going to be using Lado on this one as well. And then for our accent, let's go and use Lado as well. And let's leave it how that is. That's perfect. Click update. So another thing that we need to do is actually go ahead and adjust our theme style. And since most of this has to do with our theme, when it comes to a lot of our fonts, since we are working on our product page, we're going to have to adjust this typography for our theme style. So go ahead and click on that. And then it does say all of this, but um, this is what's going to do it for us. So let's go ahead and just make sure we click on Lado. As you can tell, it's already starts starting to switch. And we're not going to just uh, transform on this. We're just going to go ahead and just switch all of this to Lado. And I'm probably just going to go up to um, H2, I believe. I don't think we have any H3s, but we could, so. All right, and even some H4s, we'll just do it real quick if we need to. And we might as well, might as well just do all of them while we're here. Do this really quick. All right, so let's go ahead and click update. All right, now that's all set up there. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and add our title here. So product title, go ahead and drag that right in here. And for default color, let's actually go into our settings and let's adjust this here. Go into your site settings, go into global colors, and let's go ahead and set this to black. Perfect. And our accent can be also set to black as well. Go and exit out of this. All right, so I don't like the spacing here, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and adjust some of the spacing. So go ahead and click on your breadcrumbs. Go to advance, and from then from the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and do a negative until we have it at a good spot. So do negative 15 would probably be good. And then let's do the same thing for um our product title, except from except we're gonna do the top instead. So unselect this, and from the top we're gonna do up to let's see here. Let's do a negative 15 as well. All right, not looking too bad. And Let's go ahead and adjust the sizing of this. So go ahead and do uh twenty five. Let's see. Nope, that's definitely not where I want it. Let's do uh forty. I think would be pretty good. And then let's switch this one to about. This should be about fifteen, I believe. Yeah. So this is fifteen, and this is forty. The next thing that we want to do is add our um rating. But just for this example, because we don't have any ratings on our products. Now, once you start to get ratings on your product, you can go ahead and just remove this. So just for an example, I'm going to go ahead and just add some five stars to this. Now, of course, once this is a live product, I would suggest removing it and having um, actual reviews. So it is up to you how you want to go about doing that. So go ahead and type in stars. There, just star, star rating, and then go ahead and just drag that right in. And of course, we don't want to be using this orange color. Go to style and... The color should be black, so just bring that down. Perfect. And then we're going to do a little trick here. So go into advance, go into positioning, and let's set this to inline. And then now let's go into our product title, our product heading. Let's add a product heading. And this should be actually right under it. Make sure it's set to right under. Oops. Let me... Wow. Okay, let's drag the stars here, and let's try to get this one above it. There we go. And then right here, we're just going to type in 20 reviews. I know that it doesn't have this amount of reviews, but this is just an example. Of course, this can, this can be removed once this, at, once this website is actually live. All right. And I do want to make this a little bit gray. So let's go ahead and just uh, maybe choose this one. Or we can even choose this one. It's a little bit grayer, right? And then what we're going to do is go into advanced, go into positioning. And we're also going to make this in line. We want it to be side by side. And we're just going to adjust the text and make it a little smaller so it fits perfectly. There we go. 
and we can set this to about let's set this to about 17 instead and then maybe let's just bring this down a bit let's see if we can bring this to the bottom we're probably going to have to uh, adjust the margin so go ahead and click on go to your advanced go to margin and unselect this one so you know what as i was adjusting this let's go ahead and go to our positioning and let's set this to the end, to the end here which is just the bottom and then um let's go back here and maybe bring this up a little bit here. I think that should be fine actually. Maybe we can actually add some padding. Let's add it to the top, sorry. We just gotta get this pretty good. Okay, so that's good. So now from here, let's go ahead and add some um, some padding. Let's do about, from the left side, sorry, some margin. Let's do about eight. And there we go. That's pretty, that looks, that looks pretty nice. Just to not get you guys confused here, we added some margin. So we did three from the bottom and eight to the left side. And this is all set to pixels. If we go to positioning, we would notice that we have this set to inline and we have a vertical alignment set to the end. Okay, which is gonna bring this down and right to the middle. So that's looking pretty good. All right. So now let's go ahead and go into our elements again. And let's go ahead and add some prices. So go ahead and drag your product price. We probably want to set it under this one. There we go. Now we do want to make this a little bit bigger. So we're going to have to adjust this a bit. So let's do about 25. And then let's do about, go ahead and click on your advanced, go to margin. And from the bottom, let's go ahead and drag this down to about maybe, about maybe 15. And then from the top, let's drag this a little bit to the bottom and let's do about 25. And if you are wondering why I'm looking this way, it's because I do have a previous design that I'm, lo I'm actually looking at the mock-up. So that's kind of why. And I probably did go over the mock-up in the beginning of the video. So. Alrighty, so now let's go in and just adjust um, the typography of this. Go to style. So this is set to about 600, let's to about 900. And let's go ahead and just drag this and make this a little bit bigger here. We can even do this about 25. 25 is not bad, so let's leave it at 25 actually. All right, and then go back to your elements. Let's go ahead and add our short description. Drag that right in here. Now that's already pretty good. We don't really need to adjust that too much. Um, we can set it to 15 in case you didn't want to have a set size, but you can have it at 17. It's Kind of not a bad size to have it at, so you can actually have that at 17. And then the weight can stay about the weight can stay pretty much how it is. Fine. But if you did want to adjust the weight a little bit and make it a little more thicker, you could. But it seems to be that what it's at, it's is fine anyway. The default is fine with me. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our add to cart button. So Let's drag that right in here, drag it right under. Now, as you can tell, it's not styled yet, so obviously we're gonna have to style this. Go ahead and click update. And we do wanna set up our swatches. So let's go ahead and preview this for now and let's see if we can set this up here. So as you can tell, we currently have this set up, but um, I kinda want this to look a little bit different and I wanna get rid of this right here, so that's what we're gonna do. But first, we're gonna go ahead and adjust this. So let's go and go to our dashboard. I'm going to open up another tab here just so then I can adjust that. And then we're going to go into our variation swatches. And let's set up our default. So this is our default styling. So we want, first of all, we want it, we want the text color to be set to white because the background button is going to be set to black. So let's just drag this up here. And then we don't need a border for this. So let's do um, border should be set to border width should be set to zero. And then our background color, 
reset to black and let's just have it at right there would be perfect. And then our hover, our hover state will be a little bit different. So our hover state, the text color should be set to black. And then our background color should be set to white. And our border it would be black as well. That's perfect. All right. And then our selected styling, we also need to go ahead and adjust that too. So our text color is going to be set to black. Just to about this. This is pretty much where we want it at. And then our background is going to be set to white. And then our border is going to be set to black, how it is. And it's all set tooltip. Um, I kind of leave that as is, so don't worry about that. And we can actually enable this if we need to, but that's not really necessary. And then we're going to click save. Now, if you do have an image design or a color, you can adjust those, but I have it very basic. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and just refresh this. And there we have it. So you can tell whenever I select it, see that? Perfect. And obviously right now I don't, I'm not currently on the product, so that's why you're not seeing it here. But if I go to my t-shirt and go to select this product, now we can go ahead and see it. You see that? So and I do want to add some padding to this. I feel like this is too close, so we might need to adjust that as well. And we need and we also need to change this color probably to not green, to a different color. So let's go ahead and start adjusting that. Let's make sure it's set to black and we're going to probably have to use some CSS if it doesn't want to work for us, but that's, it's totally fine. All right. So let's just go and add some CSS here. I don't know why it's acting up like that, but we're going to add some quick CSS and I will have this down in the description. So you guys can go ahead and just adjust that. Um, but we're just going to simply set this to black. Um, and then we should be all set. There we go. So now let's go ahead and get this um, background removed. This is just super annoying that it, we have this here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just something that sets to default. So I don't want that. I don't want that background on my um, on my text here where I have color and size. So I'm just going to add some quick CSS and I'll have this down in the description. So you guys can go ahead and just paste this right in. So it's just a selector TD and then background color transparent. And obviously we want the color to be black and we want it at zero padding. And then now let's go ahead and just refresh this. And as you can tell, now it's gone. So that's pretty much it for this part of the video. I will have the next part to this video um, uploaded pretty soon. The reason why I'm splitting these is because there is quite a bit of stuff that we have to do. We do have to customize this add to cart as well. And that is going to take up some time because I have to go over the CSS that I add. And um, we're going to have to add some custom code. So I don't want to make this video too long. So that's why I'm going to be splitting the videos. So if you guys have any questions so far on this part, please make sure to comment down below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. I do have an Elementor responsive course in case you guys want to learn how to make your Elementor websites responsive. I'll go ahead and link that down below. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. Now, if you did find this video helpful, make sure to like the video for the YouTube algorithm so other people can find this video and it can help them out. Now, as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.